my name is Jake Grayson. I am a forest gardener and a forest garden designer. And today um, I'm getting back into the garden finally. I've been doing loads of design work, which you might have seen from the other all my other videos. But today I have been doing my perennials, <laughs> perennial vegetables in the polytunnel. Um, yeah, I just I was a bit busy earlier on this year, so there's not much action oh, really in the polytunnel. But um, what I have got some perennial chilies, which are uh, ricotto. Oh, I can't remember the name of them actually. This is an unripe one. I didn't normally like on a bush. You get a whole load of them. They've got black seeds. Got them from the real seeds catalog. And I'm growing them in pots. And there's some sort of ground cover in here. And they're in pots. And I take them into the conservatory in the winter, just over winter them so they're warm. So hopefully next year they'll get going much better. I'll give them a good old feed. I need to sort out the, the watering. Got drip drip irrigation in here. That's where the tomatoes were. And yeah, I need to still, they're still going, is the um, Cape Gooseberry. They've swamped everything. I cut them back and then let the let the berries dry on the on the branches and fall to the ground. And then in the meantime harvest all the other ones. And then there's some pruning, possibly some pruning to do on the on the grapevine up there, and then there's some clearing up to do. And the other thing I've done is somebody said you can overwinter. I'm overwintering the Cape Gooseberry, which is brilliant. And somebody said, oh, you can overwinter um, aubergines as well in the same way in the polytunnel if it's warm enough. So this is a Cape Gooseberry, um, also known as a, a golden cherry or a ground cherry. So, and they're very tasty. Make the best jam in the world. Anyway, right. so I'm treating aubergines the same way. There was a massive nasturtium there, but I'll leave it there for the winter. I'm not going to have some, so many this year. They got a bit out of hand, but I've got aubergines all planted in here. Cut them right back. Um, so hopefully they'll survive. This is an old bit of dill. Comes up every year. Those are dill seed. Um, Mitsuna self-seeded. Mitsuna, I think, as well. Sweet bits of that. And then, yep, get the chilies back in there next year. Oh, it's looking a bit blurry. And the dog's barking. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Getting back, back into the garden, which is nice, finally. And I've got loads to do. Um, I'm supposed to be opening up next spring but I've got an absolute stack of work I need to do more um, design work get some more work in for that as well so if you need your wildlife or your forest garden designed and planted up give me a shout I do remote design too anyway that's enough for one day see you later bye